Well, as you can see, I live up on top of a mountain and I have this mighty mule gate opener. This is probably, I don't know if it's the fourth or fifth one that I've had, but they get hit by lightning. And what happens is, um, it's not like it gets hit by lightning. I'll have a lightning strike somewhere up here and it uh, through, you know, electromagnetic force or whatever it is that does it, it'll fry the circuit board. Either some of them have it in the arm and some of them have it in a, in a different box over here. And so um, I finally just gave up. You know, they're, they're like anywhere from three to $500 a piece, depending on which ones you're buying. And, um, you know, there's, there's heavier duty ones, but you still have the same problem with, you, you know, that the, the circuit, circuitry can get fried. And so the board for them is like $250 or something like that. So what this video is about is I re-engineered this so that I can use, uh, I've, I've gotten rid of the circuit board in here and there'll be a separate video that shows you how I built the circuit board with a schematic in case you're interested in that. I don't know that anybody's ever going to actually do this, but just kind of to give you an idea of, uh, you know, how you can get around something like this. But, um, so I've replaced the circuit board in here with relays and then I've taken everything out of the arm. The only thing in that arm now is just the motor and the gears. I took, took the circuit board out and all that. All I'm using to, all I'm hooked up to in there is the red and the black wire off of the motor. And so then the way the original one works is it, it knows how many times it's turned. It knows how far it is. This one I use limit switches uh, in order to uh, regulate the opening and the closing of it. That's got the cover off of it. And I'll show, give you a close-up of it here in just a second. But let me just show you how it opens and closes. So if I pull the chain, it'll open. But then if I pull it again, it won't do anything until it gets all the way open. Once it's all the way open, then I can pull this again and it will close. Now if I use the remote, I can stop it mid-opening like that and I can close it. I can also stop it and I can make it open back up. So if with the remote, I have full control over it. It's just with these, these inputs, you know, there's only one input on off with these. So, uh, but I use these for people that don't have a remote, you know, like if the UPS man comes or something like that down the road down here, I've got uh, chain pulls that he can pull to get the gate open and closed. So now that it's open all the way, I can pull this again and it'll close. If you look at the schematic, you can see kind of how that works. All right, let me give you a close-up of this box. And like I said, there'll be a separate video on how to make this part. I also did a dipole antenna for it. Um, I did a separate video on this. All right, so that's got it back closed. So this is the opener circuit itself, and this is the remote control down here. And I just keep it up inside there like that, and then the cover goes on like that to keep it weather tight. So in order to, once you've made this part, in order to hook it up, I've got, you need a limit switch for the opening part, another limit switch for the closing part down there. And these just have this type of limit switch in there like that. And I'll put a link to those um, in the description. And then I have some pull chains right here that I use for people that don't have a remote. There's also, you can see one kind of way down the road down there for like the UPS man or something like that to use. So you have to wire all that in. So you'll see in the diagram, you know, there's this, there's a power strip down here or a terminal strip down here. And that's where I tie all of those in. You've got a battery with a battery charger that keeps my battery going. And then uh, the line over here that runs and goes to the Mighty Mule arm. Now the only thing in that arm is just the motor. I've taken all the electronics out. It's just the motor in there with the gearbox and I'm just using the red and white wire, I mean red and black wire off of the motor uh, to control it. So let me just, about the only thing you can see in here is you can see these relays work. So let me show you when I open it, you can see this one will pop. And you can see it's starting to open. Then hit, I hit the B button and that one deactivates and then I can close it by hitting the C button and then that'll run until the limit switch hits right there. 
and that's it. So for the limit switches on this, I had to make some adapters to go onto the uh, gate to actually activate them when it was opening and closing. And depending on if you were to do this, depending on how your gate is situated, you would need different arms. And you just got to have somehow that it'll come in and click this and flip this switch and make it stop. So this one, the way it works, you hit the open. And, and the only thing that's in there is, is a switch like this. And I made this, I 3D printed that cover. And so then, when I tell it to close, it's gonna come in and it'll activate this switch. It'll push it in and it'll stop the gate, like that. So now I'll let it do that. And it stopped the gate. Now the other one, is over here and it just works on the same principle it just has a different different kind of bendy arm there let me bring it around All right, and like I said I just 3, 3d printed the covers on these to keep the keep the rain and, and snow and that type of stuff off of them and I'll close it back and it'll just It'll go back around and when, when this limit switch trips back it allows it so that when you pull the pull chains it'll close it that's how the makes the pull chains work in uh, to open and close and then it's just going to come around and you see that that bar is getting closer to the limit switch there it just stopped it okay so that's how all of this interconnects and how it all works you know if i get a lightning strike up here it may burn out one of these relays there's also the remote uh, has some chips in it that would probably blow up but you know i can get a new uh one of those the remote part is only like ten dollars and then the uh the relays themselves are just a few dollars themselves so the parts that blow out now i can just replace them and move on and most of them i can just unplug them and plug in a new piece and then uh, be able to be able to use my uh, my gate again without having to spend you know 500 bucks or whatever so anyway i hope this was interesting to you thank you for watching